study to be a sin. It doesn't matter what I find. Oh, okay, then I mean, what the do Bible, you believe the Bible says? Homosexual behavior is a sin, not homosexual feelings. We all have attractions we ought not act on, right? There's a difference between attractions and actions. I have attractions I ought not act on. So, so to be attracted to uh, someone of the same sex, if you act on that, it's a sin. That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus says. You say, well, Jesus never talked about homosexuality. No, he talked about all sexual immorality because whenever he used the phrase sexual immorality, that meant any sexual activity outside of the marriage of a man and a woman. Fornication, adultery, homosexuality, bestiality, rape, incest, whatever it is. So what could be wrong with this? Well, it's a subtle step in the wrong direction. And it's because he makes a distinction between attractions and feelings and then behavior. Attractions and feelings and then physical behavior as if it's not a sin until you get physical with it. You can be a revoice going Christian who has a lisp as a male, practices effeminate behavior, dresses in a certain way, mannerisms, all the rest. But as long as you are not taking physical part in that particular lifestyle that's associated with that, then you are not in sin. You're okay with Jesus. In fact, you can have the feelings. You have feelings towards other men. You're not in sin. That would be the logical conclusion of what you just heard. And this is a slippery slope. This is a, there's a spectrum of teaching in error on this issue that goes all the way from what you just heard to Matthew Vines and the Reformation Project, which advocates basically same-sex unions, marriages, as long as there's fidelity and there's monogamy, that it's perfectly acceptable before God. How do you get there? Well, it's, it's, it's not overnight. <laughs> and these little subtle steps can get you there. And I think Orthodox believers sometimes take these steps incorrectly, and then they realize where they're going and they do a 180. And that's what I'm hoping people do when they listen to this. this